Hi guys, this is Don. I'm going through some quizzes and looking at some of the problems that some of you are having. And uh, this is one that I've seen quite a few people stumble on. It's uh, a, a question about a confidence interval. They want a 90% confidence interval. And they say using the inequality of the difference, d bar minus t, tells you a t distribution, there's the mean difference, mu sub d, and plus d bar plus the t sub c. So that may confuse some people when the question's asked that way, but really they just want to know the lower limit and the upper limit around that mean sub d. They give you data, and again, you can do this on your calculator or do it in Excel or any other programs. I like to use StatCrunch because it's built in to um, to my stat lab and if for some reason uh, like on some of the quizzes and it, it may not be built in you can go to statcrunch.com and open it up and have a separate window uh, and even then you can click on this little icon and where it says now I'm going to click on open the stat crunch if stat crunch was not available well, I think it is. If, if you've got this little icon in my stat lab, even on quizzes, you should be able to open in StatCrunch. That's right. And it loads the data there. We've got three columns. The first lists our patients, and we've got a column that shows the sleep without using that aid, and then sleep using the aid. Now that should tell you, because you've got one patient and you've got two measurements, that this is a paired samples test. And we're, it's a, we're going to get a confidence interval for this paired sample. So we go to stat, and we go to tstat, paired, because it's paired sample again, and we open up this dialog box. We want to select sample one, which would be the sleep without the drug, sample two, sleep using the drug. Now we don't need to change the where and group by options on here. And uh, we're not going to do the hypothesis test, which you could just by clicking compute, it would calculate uh, the hypothesis test for the null of the mean difference equal to zero. And of course you can change that to other values. But we're going to do the confidence interval and it's for 0.9, an alpha of 0.10 or 10 percent. So all we do is click on compute and we get the confidence interval there. There's the lower limit and the upper limit. The sample difference is this 1.846 so it goes from minus 2.114 on the lower side of 1.8 for minus 1.86 up to the upper limit of 1.577. And let's just drag down and see. Yes, that's the answer in my stat lab. Minus 2.11, main difference to the upper limit of minus 1.58. So it's really fast.